Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan, I am a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict. And today I bring you a tutorial for the Stargazer hat. So I have it here in two different colorways to kind of show you the versatility of what it is that I'm showcasing. So here we have it in like a washed blue color. It's got hints of different hues of blue, it's so nice. And then this over here, is Red Heart Super Saver Stripes in the colorway Americana to kind of showcase the stars and stripes. This is what I'm calling Old Glory Stargazer. So um, star stitches throughout, you can clearly see the stripes. It's so nice. Look at that. So we end the project with single crochets and the crab stitch. And then over here, um, I did a series of single crochets and the crab stitch. So it can be worked up in many different ways, but I do walk you through all of the steps from beginning to end. Anybody can do this. It's so much fun. Um, yeah, feel free to rewind and replay as many times as you need in order for you to get it. But the star stitch worked in the vertical is so much fun. It's a huge rectangle. We fold it in half. We sew it up the side. We sew the top together and we put a brim on it. It's so much fun. So let's go ahead and get started. But before I jump, I do want to tell you that the hat will fit heads uh, measuring 21 to 23 and a half inches and up. Um, this one here I made super size. This one here will fit up to 24 and a half inches. Okay, so um, it can literally be worked up in any size. Um, the length of the project will literally dictate how uh, wide your hat will be, okay? So again, we're going to do the tutorial for this one, which will fit up to 23 inch heads, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'll see you on the other side, friends. Okay, friends, so for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using a medium four weight yarn. The yarn you see before you right now is Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn in the colorway Night Blue, okay? The hook I'm using is a six millimeter crochet hook. And so to get started, what we need to do is we need to create a slip knot on our hook. However you do this is absolutely fine, so long as the end result is this, okay? And so from here, what we wanna do is we wanna chain 28, okay? So while I chain this, I'm gonna place you guys on a brief pause until I get the full 28, and then we'll get started from there, okay? Okay, friends, so I have 28 chains here. And so from here, what we need to do is we're going to chain one more. And then we're going to go into the second chain from the hook with a single crochet. Just like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to do single crochets in every chain for the length of the chain. Okay, so in total, you should have 28 single crochets. Okay, so continue doing this, friends, and I will see you at the end of the chain. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of the chain, and so what we want to do now is we want to chain a total of four. So here we are at the end, chain four. So one, two, three, and four. So we still haven't turned our work. We're still on the same side, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna work three of these four chains, okay? So we're gonna go into this chain, this chain, and this chain. We're going to start our series of star stitches, okay? This chain up here is the chain we're skipping. So we're gonna skip that chain, and then we're gonna pick up loops one, two, and three and then we're going to come over here and we're going to pick up four and five okay so i'm just giving you a little bit of a sneak peek as to what we're doing so here we're going to go into the second chain we're going to drop a loop then we're going to drop two more loops which is the rest of the chain now we're going to turn the work over and if you see there's a series of v's here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the back loop of the very first stitch and drop a loop, and then go into the next stitch, back loop, 
and draw up a loop just like that and you should have a series of six loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and go through all of the loops just like that and then you're going to chain to lock that okay so that's the beginning of our star stitch so now what we need to do is we're going to insert our hook into the eye which is right here we're going to insert our hook right in here drop a loop then we're going to go into this last leg right here and we're going to drop a loop and then we're going to go into the stitch that the last leg was in drop a loop so far we have four and now we're going to go into the next two stitches but the back loops only back loop drop a loop go into the back loop of the next stitch and draw up a loop so you should have six stitches on your hook you're going to yarn over and go through all six and chain to lock okay so that's pretty much it we're going to do this one more time nice and slow so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the eye of the star which is right where my thumb is right there so we're going to go in there we're going to drop a loop now we're going to go into the last leg which is right here go and pick up that last leg very carefully draw up a loop so far we have three and then down here is the stitch that that leg was in so we're going to go in there and drop a loop now we have four now we're going to go into the next two stitches but only in the back loop just like that and you have six loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and go through all six chain to lock so continue doing this my friends all the way down the chain and I will meet you at the end okay I'll be right back okay friends so I am approaching the end of the row here and by the way this stitch right here is the first row of a two row repeat okay for the duration of our project this here was just a foundation row okay so if you count along with me here there should be 13 stars so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13. after you have your 13th star stitch completed there should be two remaining stitches here at the end okay so for these two stitches what we're going to do is go right into both the front and the back loops and do a single crochet just like that and then we're going to go into the next stitch front and back grab a loop single crochet next we're going to chain one and turn our work and go back into this first stitch with a single crochet go into the next stitch with a single crochet so every time you get to this end of the project you will always end and begin the row with two single crochets okay and what this is doing is it's going to start gathering so as your project builds out these stitches are wider these stitches are smaller so when we go to sew in the top there's less fabric up here to bunch up so it makes it a lot smoother compared to if we had everything like this okay so after you do your two single crochets what we're going to do is we're going to go into the eye of every star stitch so that's considered the eye see that circle and it's in every stitch going down the row here so what we're going to do is we're going to do two half double crochets in the eye of every star stitch so you yarn over you're going to go into the eye drop a loop yarn over and go through all three and you're going to do that again okay so then after that you're going to jump to the next die no chains no nothing just two half double crochets and then you're going to jump over here and do two more half double crochets just like that in the eye of every star stitch two half double crochets just like that and i'll see you at the end of the row here okay 
Okay, friends, so I am nearing the end of the row here where we did two half double crochets in the eye of every stitch, okay? So here we are at the end. Now, see here at the end, we also have an eye. I stopped early just on purpose. So if you look, this is the star stitch from the previous round. This part of the stitch right here where you see this little gap, this little opening, every row, that's kind of where you would like to just know where that is, okay? So let's finish out this um, two half double crochets right here, okay? So yarn over, go into the last star, drop a loop, yarn over, go through all three. So there's your first half double crochet. Give that star stitch another one, just like that. And that stitch that I just showed you, what you're going to do is you're going to go in there. Just make sure that you're picking up both the front and the back. Let me separate that just so you can see what I'm, sh what I'm showing you. Okay, just like that. You're going to um, draw up a loop and slip. Now see, that right there doesn't count towards anything. Okay, ignore that. Pretend that doesn't exist. So now what we need to do is chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now while we still have it like this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the second chain from the hook, draw up a loop, and then these other two chains here, we're going to insert our hook and draw up a loop, insert our hook and draw up a loop. Now we're gonna turn our work over. Now you see that very first one I just mentioned? We're skipping that. We're gonna go into these next two, okay? So that there, my friends, is the slip stitch, and that's that doesn't count towards anything, okay? So if you accidentally go into there, it's gonna throw your count off, so make sure you skip that, all right? So you're gonna go into the very first stitch, back loop only, draw up a loop, go into the next stitch, back loop only, draw up a loop, and you should have six loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and go through all six chain to close. And there you go. So we're going to continue doing this. We're going to go into the eye, draw up a loop. Go into the last leg, draw up a loop. Go into the stitch of the last leg, draw up a loop. So there's four. And then these next two stitches here uh, will also get a loop. So you're going to go into the first one, draw up a loop, Go into the next one there and drop a loop and you'll have six loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through all six, chain to close. So continue doing that and I will see you at the end of the row. Okay friends, so here I am at the end of our star stitch row. And as you can see, there's two stitches remaining and those two stitches will get single crochets just like this. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to chain one. We're going to turn our work, go right into this first one here with a single crochet, go into the next one with a single crochet, and now as we did down here, two half double crochets in the eye of every star. Just like this. And this is the repeat of the entire project, friends. So two half double crochets in every eye of every star. And then when we work the star stitch, we're working it in the back loop. So let's continue on with this. Two half double crochets in the eye of every star. And I will see you at the end of the row. Okay friends, so I have one star stitch to go as you can see. So I'm going to give that star two half double crochets. One and two. And as you can see, I'm going to go into this very corner here. Drop a loop and slip to close. And again, that slip doesn't count towards anything, okay? From here, we're going to chain four. One, two, 
three, and four. And then what we're going to do is we're going to work into the second, uh, third, and fourth chain just by drawing loops. So draw a loop, draw a loop, and draw a loop. So you have four loops on your hook. So as I just mentioned, skip that one, and we're going to go right into the next one there. So let's turn our work, skip the very, very first slip here, right? Go into this next one, back loop draw up a loop, so there's five, go into the next one, draw up a loop, and there's six. So yarn over and go through all loops, and then chain one to lock it in, okay? So I'm going to continue working this exact pattern. Feel free to remind me, just know that every other row gets two half double crochets, and then while you're working the star stitch, you're working it into the back loop only, just like that. Okay, so I will let you know in a few seconds how many rows it's going to take to get to the other end. Okay, so I'm going to place you on a brief pause and I'll be right back. Okay, friends, so I'm back. I've put on all the rows that's needed for the project here. And so in total, um, you need 40 rows and you should end with a row of star stitches just like that okay so um, this obviously is going to be the front um, or the outside of the beanie and this is going to be the inside of the beanie where there's little to no texture in comparison to the front side okay and if you notice the two single crochets um, up top here kind of pull in um, the project okay so what we're gonna do now is we are going to join the first row and the last row okay but actually before we do that what we're gonna need to do is just do a row of single crochets to kind of flatten out this edge here so Let's go ahead and take care of that very quickly. So just to recap, um, you want to go 40 rows and you want to end um, with a row of star stitches and this actually measures 21 inches. So this project will fit heads 21 to 23 and a half inches. Okay. So we're going to chain one, turn our work. And then in each stitch all the way down, we're going to do single crochets, okay? Just like this. Just go in. So for each um, eye of the star, we're going to do two single crochets, and then we're just going to jump to the next eye and do two single crochets. The next eye, two single crochets, okay? So continue doing that, my friends, and I will meet you at the end of the row. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end, okay? And what we want to do now is we want to join uh, both sides of our project, okay? So we want to make sure that the outside is actually on the inside right now, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to connect, and then we're going to turn our work, okay? So all I have right now is just the last single crochet, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the bottom parts of our chain. You can kind of see, let me put this side down. You can kind of see the holes there of where we're going to be going into. So for here, we're going to go into the very first one right here. So let me just reconfigure my yarn here. Okay, so we're going to go into this space right here. And yes, the tail will be in the way, but it's temporary. So we're going to draw up a loop. And then just slip to close just like that. Chain one, turn the work. And then just realign everything. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the space we just came out of to kind of reaffirm that connection there. 
drop a loop and you should have two loops on your hook, yarn over and go through both, just like that, okay? And now we're just literally gonna go into all of these spaces here. So go right into the next space, go right into the next stitch, but you wanna make sure that you're pulling just the back loop, okay? It's a little challenging, but once you get it, you're good. Just go into the back loop, just like that. Drop a loop, go through both sides there, yarn over, and go through two, just like that. I find that if I keep my finger in between, just like that, it makes it easier to navigate. However you want to do this is fine. But the goal here is you go through the one side, and then you pick up the other side, but just the back loop. Drop the loop and go through both, yarn over, and do your single crochet. Okay, so you want to do that for every stitch to close this. Go in the stitch, go in the back loop, and do a single crochet just like this. And what it's doing is it's giving the outside that continuous ribbing just so it looks seamless you kind of need to have that otherwise you'll have a section that's completely flat and so you're gonna go into the side and then look at the other side and go in the back loop of the next stitch drop the loop and go through both yarn over and go through both okay so, so continue that that's what this looks like so far Continue that and I will meet you at the end here, okay? Okay, friends, so that's what the join looks like. Okay, and again, this is the inside and that is the outside, okay? So the next thing we need to do is we need to close this. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're gonna continue using this yarn. So we're going to chain two and what we're going to do is cut a very long tail here, okay? So I would say almost twice the length of our project, okay? Just really long. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the hook away from our work, just like that. And then we're going to tighten, we're gonna tighten this. So it looks like that. And what we're going to need to do now is grab our darning needle and we're going to use this to sew in this. So I'm going to show you how I do it. It's super easy. So go over the eye of the needle, pinch and feed it through. And I actually leave about that much. Okay. And then the rest of this is to sew in everything. So what I'm doing here is I go in and out of each hole here, in and out. I just weave it all the way through nice and neat. Once I have about five or so, I just very gently pull, not too tight, just like that. And then I go back to my project and go in and out Just like that. Okay. So we're going to go all the way around our project. Just like this. Okay. So continue doing this all the way around and I will see you once we get back to the starting point. Okay, friends, so I'm back at our starting point. I'm on this side here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through that ribbing, just go through it like that, go down and back out, just like that, to kind of cross over, you know? And now, just like that, you're gonna pull on your yarn nice and gently. Um, not too hard, but just enough. 
and you're going to literally just apply tension until you get this as tight as possible without breaking your yarn, okay? So if you can't get it closed all the way, don't worry. We're going to sew it closed, but try and get that as tight as possible. That looks good, okay? So what I like to do is I like to just pinch, not too hard, just a gentle pinch, and I have everything still attached, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down and just sew everything closed. Just like that and you know as you do this make sure that you know go in between fibers go in between stitches add variety to it um, this is to ensure that it stays closed just like that anywhere you see an open space you can go ahead and just so it closed and I like to poke my fingers through just to make sure that there's no open spaces. And just for good measure, I'll go ahead and just do a few more rounds. And then now I'll start knotting it. So to do that, Create a loop and go through the loop, just like that. Pull it tight and then do it all over again. Pull it through and then go through the loop. Pull it tight. Okay, and so that should do it. So what we're gonna do is um, we are going to cut a shorter tail. I wanna say probably like a good six inches or so and then I'm going to re-thread the needle and now I'm just going to secure this tail into the top of our hat it doesn't have to be anything perfect because this is the inside so we're just making sure that this is secure, okay? Just like that. And now what we're gonna do is just trim the rest of that off like that. And so that portion of our project is done. So now we're going to flip it on the other side here. Super nice, nice and tight, no holes. Love that for us, okay? And so now the final step is we need to add a brim, okay? And so, um, you know, you could leave it like that, but I, I want the ends to be finished, okay? And here's an example of a, a finished one. I used Red Heart Super Saver Americana. And so this is kind of what we're going for, okay? A nice finished edge. So we're gonna do uh, rounds of single crochet and then the final round, we're going to do this stitch right here, okay? So that is the goal. And to do that, we're going to put a slip knot on our hook, just like this. And then we're going to attach ourselves right here like right before the split. You can kind of see that right here. I do that because, again, I want that finished look. We're going to make sure that everything is nice and even. So we're going to go right into the beginning here. Just insert your hook right into that corner space right there. Draw up a loop, yarn over, and go through both of those loops there to secure yourself, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump over and we're going to go here to um, what was the beginning. We're going to insert our hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, and just do a single crochet. Okay, and now I'd like us to think of this as uh, 
kind of like how we were doing the star stitch. We were doing uh, pairs of stitches um, instead of going into individual stitches. So you see these lines here? Okay, so on either side of the line, um, you want to make sure you're, you're placing stitches there. Okay, so what I mean by that is, is okay, on this side of the line, we're going to put one single crochet because we had one right here. Now we're going to jump to this side of the line and we're going to do two single crochets. And then on this side of the line, we're going to do two single crochets. On this side of the line, we're going to do two single crochets. And then on this side of the line, two single crochets. You're just inserting your hook wherever you can get it. It's all the same color, so you don't have to worry about it. If you're using um, different colors and, and things like that, all you want to do is make sure that you're going into open spaces and not in between stitches. So, and what I mean by that is, is just gently move your hook around and, and find an open space. And you can literally, it will literally guide you there. So, just do two single crochets and then hop to the other side of this line here and do two single crochets. And you're gonna do that all the way around your project. We like to call it twins in a stitch. Two singles in one spot. And what we're doing is we're creating that solid foundation to continue doing our single crochets. Just like that, okay? So continue doing that, my friends, and I will see you at the end of this round, okay? Okay, friends, so I am back at the beginning. So how I'm able to tell is we have the ribbing here, okay? So... What we want to do is we want to go into the very first single crochet of the round, slip over, chain one, and then go back into that stitch you just came out of with another single crochet. And you want to do another round of single crochets. What we're doing is we're just evening out everything. Um, the star stitch is traditionally uh, not the smoothest stitch on the ends. So to just smooth everything out, and make it look a little more polished before we do anything else. We're going to do another round of single crochets going in the front and the back loops. The traditional way of doing it. It's already looking 1000% better. <laughs> that second row of single crochets. This is what the first row looks like. Okay, so reinforcing it with a second row is almost necessary. Okay, so continue doing that, my friends, and I will see you at the end of this second round here. Okay, friends, so I have completed a second round of single crochets, and I just latched on to do a third round. Now, this is the time that I would suggest maybe trying it on, and if it is the correct length for you, if you're happy with that, then you can hold off... Um, until I get to the very final section, which is um, the the border or the brim. Um, this is technically the brim, but the, the final touch is going to be this stitch right here. Okay, I believe they call it the crab stitch. Okay, so I'll show you how that's done for the final round. Um, but I need to continue doing a few more rows because um, I like my hat a little longer than this. Um, so yeah, again, try it on, see if it fits. If you need some more rows, do more rows of single crochets until you get to the length that you're happy with, and then we'll go ahead and do the crab stitch, okay? So I'm gonna place you on a brief pause. When I come back, I'll have the right length, and then we'll go forward from there, okay? So just one second. Okay, friends, so I have the rows that I need, and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect to close the row here. So I'm going to insert my hook, drop a loop, slip to close, chain one. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to do single crochets, but going backwards. So 
we're going to start right here where we're at. Let me zoom in so we can get a closer look. So what we're gonna do is we're going to pull our hook back and go right into the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through both, and then just literally work backwards. Just going into the stitch, just doing your single crochets as you normally would. And all the bumps that you're seeing, that's part of the design. So if you're seeing that, you're doing something correct. And the trick is to make sure that your tension remains the same. Okay, so you're literally just going to do your single crochets in the reverse to get that nice little detail here. Okay, so continue doing that, my friends, and I'll see you at uh, the end here. Okay, so here I am at the end. So I'm going to go back into the stitch from the very beginning. Do my single crochet. And now I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to cut a tail off. About yay big. Let me back the camera up just a little bit. So the tail will be about that long. Pull the hook away from the work. Pinch and pull down. And now we're going to sew all of this in to kind of make it make sense, okay? So, what we're going to do is yarn over the eye of the needle, pinch and insert, just like that. And so, what I'm going to do here is, is I'm going to take the tip of the needle and go right into the last set of crab stitches. That's actually just gonna pull everything together like that, okay? Now, I'm gonna flip to the inside, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down. So this is where it's sitting at. We're gonna go down, just like that. And as you can see, we're going in between fibers here. Maybe I need to pick up a little more, there we go. This happens frequently. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay, so now we fed it down. Just give it a nice little tug to make sure that everything is even there. Let's come back up. And then go back down for the final pass. Take the scissors. And now with these two, I'm literally just going to tie very tightly a couple times. You can sew those in if you want. I'm not going to. And so my friends, this is it. So here, let me back up. Okay. So this here, is the solid version okay very nice we love that whole all the star stitches <laughs> and here is the old glory version stars and stripes using red heart super saver americana it's very patriotic red white and blue stars and stripes so stargazer old glory version and then stargazer solid version so my friends, this wraps up this tutorial. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and then hit that notification bell to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel. 
So until the next one, guys, um, that's it. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.